This story is called Tumford the Terrible by Nancy Tillman. Tumford the Terrible. In the wee village of Sweet Apple Green. In the tiniest cottage you've ever seen. Lives a cat causing trouble within and without. A cat named Tumford, Tumford Scout. But love isn't measured in muddy galoshes or broken tea dishes or trampled on squashes. No, love is a thing that just happens, you see, like the way I love you and the way you love me. And so it goes. Georgie and Violet Stout loved their cat Tumford day in and day out. They fed him with Violet's twinkle fish pie and they nicked him, nicknamed him Tummy. Can you guess why? Why? Because he had a big tummy. But oh dear, and my, there was one small pity. Tumford, it seems, was a most stubborn kitty. In spite of the manners he often forgot, he would not say I'm sorry. Oh no, he would not. Instead, do you know what Tumford Stout did? Well, I see you've guessed it. That's right. Tummy hid. Of all the things he thought were the worst. Saying I'm sorry, most surely came first. One day, V and Gregory both said to each other, as Tumford, Tumford Stout's father and Tumford Stout's mother, we could try a plan of a different kind. Perhaps, with a treat, Tummy might change his mind. In the village today, there'll be a big fair. It would be great if Tummy went there. And off they went. But as Violet was eating and Gregory was pitching out of the blue, Tummy's nose started twitching. Something smelled marvelous over the hedge. My, he could see it right there on the ledge. It wasn't his usual big twinkle fishes, but kippers, all of his favorite fishy dishes. Oh, and then the crash and the squeals and the shouts. Oh, and then the trouble that met Tumford Stout. Heavens and stars of old sweep of apple green. Turn had spilled fish and the village fair queen. And I bet you know what Tumford Stout did? That's right, you guessed it, he hid. Those words are just awful, he thought. I can't do it. They'd stick in his throat and he'd choke, he knew it. But then, as he hid, he never thought it started growing. It warmed up his tummy and toast kept going. The thought grew so large that he said it out loud. I might feel good if I make the stouts proud. It might make them happy and me happy too. Maybe that's why it's the right thing to do. I bet you've guessed what comes next in the story. Tumford stepped forward and he said he was sorry. Both the stouts cheered and cheered again, cause everyone felt so wonderful then. And Tommy, he just sat back and purred. 
The wondrous effect of one little word. And so, there you go, at the end of the story of Tumford Stout finally said he was sorry. There aren't always cheers when he knocks over plates, but he's always loved, and that's all that matters. The end.